Greeting Cyberdogs and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from yet another episode of Let's Play Hearthstone. In the previous episode, we were kicking some serious butthole with our brand new priest deck. And in this episode, my friends, we are heading into crafting mode to disenchant some cards so that we can seriously improve our priest deck and play another opponent in a ranked battle and hopefully freaking win. So sit back and relax, my cyber niggity dogs, with your tasty ass beverage and crunchy ass snacks. Let's sling some cards. Well guys, before we begin today's episode, I just want to take a moment to thank all of you Cyberdogs who have been watching this Hearthstone series and a special thank you to all of you who have taken the time out of your lives to try and help me be a better Hearthstone player. There's are tons of you guys out there who have been leaving me excellent comments uh, in the comment section of my Hearthstone videos and sending me Facebook messages and emails trying to help me be a better player and thank you to all of you, man. You guys are amazing. And there are a ton of Cyberdog priests out there who have been helping me build my Cyberdog Cyberdog Pope's Priest deck and uh, there has been a resounding little bit of information that has come through from you guys and a ton of you guys have been talking about a little minion called an Injured Blade Master and let's take a quick look at this bad boy that you guys have highly recommended we add to our Priest deck. Now in the previous arena draft that we did we actually picked up an Injured Blade Master but we never got to use him. He is of course a 4-7 that deals 4 damage to himself when he comes into play but most importantly he costs 3 mana. And in a priest deck, where our hero ability is to restore two health to something, and restoring health to something draws us cards via our one-drop uh, um, Northshire Cleric, this Injured Blade Master fits into the priest deck strategy ridiculously well. It's essentially a 3-mana 4-3 that is essentially, in a priest deck, a 3-mana 4-7. So it's absolutely amazing. It has such good synergy in our priest deck. So what we need to do, guys, is pick up enough Arcane Dust to be able to buy two of these bad boys. And that's going to cost us 200 Arcane Dust, as you can see. And uh, 200 Arcane Dust will buy us two of these Injured Blade Masters. And my plan is to uh, replace the... Um, let's have a look. To replace the Chill Wind Yetis with these awesome-ass Blade Masters. So that is the plan for today, guys. I want to pick up two injured Blade Masters, but to do that, we are going to have to disenchant a whole bunch of freaking cards, man. So why don't we head into uh, crafting mode over here and have a look through some of the cards we can disenchant. I think I'm going to be quite happy to get rid of some of the mythic and rare cards that we have that we're not going to use for a while. I don't think I'm going to be playing as the druid class for quite a while. And we actually have an, a mythic ancient of war over here. And we can actually disenchant this bad boy for 100 arcane dust. Essentially this guy becomes one uh, blade master. So I think I'm going to be happy to disenchant, disenchant this bad boy. Let's get rid of him, man. 100 arcane dust in the belly. Thank you very much for that. And uh, we just need to pick up 100 more. And I think we could probably uh, disenchant this nourish. It's going to give us 20. Yep, let's disenchant the nourish. We might as well disenchant everything here, right? That we don't want to use. Let's have a look. We want to keep explosive trap with the hunter's class, definitely. And deadly shot. For the mage... I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to be playing as the mage for a very long time, guys. The mage class really doesn't interest me that much. So I'm just going to disenchant all of these cards. Let's pick up another, what, 15 or so arcane dust from that. That's pretty awesome. Let's, let's head into the priest area. Definitely don't want to be touching any of the priest cards for now. Let's head into the rogue area. Um, we've got three of these shadow step things. Let's just, just enchant all of them, I think. Definitely won't be playing as a rogue for a while. Um, and again, it's not really it's not really a class that interests me that much. The Shaman does interest me though, so I'm not going to disenchant any of that jazz. The Warlock, I have well and truly fallen out of love with. I don't think I'm going to play as the Warlock again. Um, I tried. I really liked the class. Uh, but I don't know. I've just I've just gone off the Warlock completely. The randomness of the Warlock is what puts me off. And uh, I don't I don't want to have anything to do with randomness anymore. So goodbye Warlock. Ooh, Angry Chicken. Well, the Angry Chicken could go. It, I mean, if we could give it more life, it's it's actually a really good minion to be honest with you. Um, so maybe we should leave the Angry Chicken where it is. Although I'm not that ah, man. I, I'm not that interested in the Angry Chicken to be honest with you. The Mana Attic can yeah, the Mana Attic can go. I think. Goodbye, man, Attic. 185. Alarm, Alarmo Bot can go too, I think. Although the Alarmo Bot is pretty sweet. Meh. It's okay. We'll get rid of the Alarmo Bot. There we go. 205. 
Alright, we've got enough uh, arcane dust now to pick up two injured blade masters. So let's create two of these bad boys. Buy him! One of these suckers, and it's a rare. And let's create another one. Buy him! Man, that is so awesome. This game is so sweet. Right, let's head over into Cyberdog Popes. Get this bad boy into our deck. And I think I'm going to get rid of the Chillwind Yeti. Although, at four mana, the Chillwind Yeti is still pretty good, man. Is there anything else we can replace around here? Shattered Sun Cleric, maybe. It's been doing pretty well for us, though, the Shattered Sun Cleric. I mean, we could just drop, like, one Ancient Brewmaster. I mean, in the previous episode, the Ancient Brewmaster didn't really come into play that much. So why don't we drop an Ancient Brewmaster? And, I don't know. Maybe, like, a Booty Bay Bodyguard, maybe? Now, I kind of like the Taunters. We could break, break, uh, uh, drop a Spellbreaker. Though I'm not too happy about dropping a Spellbreaker, to be honest. Uh, how about dropping a Novice Engineer? Yeah, alright, we'll drop a Novice Engineer. The, the Novice Engineer... Well, nah, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's get the Novice Engineer back in there. And let's get the Brewmaster back in there, too. No, I don't like the idea of dropping that. I think I'm just going to drop the Chillwind Yetis. Yeah, let's drop the Chillwind Yetis. We've got too many too many cards at, uh, at uh, 4 mana anyway. And let's get our Injured Blade Masters in there. So we I think I want this Blood Knight in here, though. I mean, the Blood Knight is so good, right? Oh, man, this card is so good. We definitely have to get that into our deck somewhere. I think I want to get rid of one Ancient Brewmaster. Um, hmm. Maybe get rid of a mind control. Do we need two mind controls? Mind control is so good though, man. Oh man, this is this is tricky. This is freaking tricky. Maybe we get rid of a, sun, a, a, a Shattered Sun Cleric. Yeah, let's get rid of one Shattered Sun Cleric and stick in our Blood Knight. I'm happy with that. Alright, sweet. Well, it feels like our Priest deck has just been heavily upgraded. There's obviously only one way to tell, man. And that is to head into the, the uh, ranked play area. Play another freaking human opponent, man. Oh, man. That is awesome. I'm so excited to take this Injured Blade Master for a spin. Thank you guys so much for that epic bit of advice. You know, a ton of you guys have been watching my, uh, my Hearthstone series and have been saying, Rendog, why aren't you using this card or why aren't you using that card? Well, guys, remember that I am playing Hearthstone without watching any other Hearthstone series or anything. So, I'm Anduin pretty much a noob. Versus and I'm trying to get better at the game the uh, by myself. With, this, uh, with You know, burn. without like spoilers or looking for decks online. I want to try and, and sort of beef up my skills alone. So... That's probably why when you guys see I'm not playing with cards that you think I should be playing with. It's because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to get better at this game one step at a time, man. But anyway, we are playing a priest mirror match. Damn, this is going to be hectic, man. We are playing our, an opponent called Shinobirin. And he is level 22 and so are we. Good luck to you, sir. May the heart of the cards be with you. And talking about heart of the cards, man. We are starting with our Northshire Cleric and our Injured Blade Master. Basically the best start that we can get. We kind of know that he might, he probably won't have the Divine Shield cards. But the Blood Knight is still a 3 3 for 3. So I think I'm just going to keep this opening hand, man. This is a great opening hand. We're going to start off with our Northshire Cleric. Right away, this is basically the, the card that we want to start with. Oh, and we picked up a Shadow Word or a Pain card. Uh, if he plays his own uh, Northshire Cleric, we can take it out. That's going to put us ahead big time. I mean, basically, if he doesn't play Northshire Cleric. He is in trouble, man. Because we've got an Injured Blade Master coming in two turns. And that's going to start drawing us cards. We can also basically pain any... Oh, no, 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 no. That ain't good for you, my friend. Alright, one damage to the face. Let's play a Novice Engineer. Draw a card. I mean, this turn, or this this game, couldn't, be go, couldn't go any better, could it? We just picked up a Spellbreaker, too. That means we can start si uh, we can silence anything that he plays on turn four. Oh, there was something that I want to talk about, man. A ton of you guys were saying to me that uh, I shouldn't like hover over the cards that much because you can actually see what uh, you, you, look. We can actually see when our opponent puts his mouse mm. over cards. We can see what cards he's looking at, and uh, a lot of you guys have been saying that a good opponent can actually work out what you're doing by. Uh, by you mousing over cards in your hand. So I'm going to try and not do as much of that uh, <laughs> uh, from now on, guys. Because I know that it, it gives away quite a lot of information. Right um, in let's have a look here, guys. we got three mana. We're sitting with our Injured Blade Master in hand. I think we're right just going to swing in for two. 
you're sure? And I think we're just gonna play Injured Blade Master, right? There we go, man. So sweet. This curve is absolutely insane. One three into draw a card into four three. <laughs> that is epic. Can you sw uh, swap the position of cards in your hand? No, you can't. All right. So this is looking good, man. Next turn, we can heal our Blade Master and draw a card. We'll still have two mana left over to pain any minion that he plays. So that's awesome. Hmm. We could Spellbreaker uh, the, the Novice, though, if he does nothing. You know, get some value out of our four mana. But he's going up to four mana. And he's going to be playing Ascension Shield Master. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm. Ancient Brewmaster in the belly. So sweet. However, I think... Oh, destroy a minion with three or less attack. Goodbye, Sengen Shieldmaster. Bio! Let's heal up our, our Blade Master. Draw a card. <laughs> guys, this deck just got so sick, man. So sick! Oh, man, I love you guys for recommending the Injured Shieldmaster, man. <laughs> or the, sorry, the Injured Blade Master. What an epic, epic card to add to this deck. Our hand is stacked right now too, guys. Our ancient brewmaster over here, man. He can do the business. All right, another shield master comes into play. Not too worried about that. We could just spellbreaker that thing. Hmm. Or we could injured blade master attack it and then holy smite it. We could do that and then get in for two, but that doesn't really do much. I wonder. Thing is, if, if, we leave, if we leave this thing alive, he's going to kill our Northshire Cleric, right? So, I think I'm going to heal up the, the Blade Master. Draw a card. Let's see what we get. Oh, hello. Gives a minion plus two. Shield. That's pretty sweet. We've got three mana left. So, why don't we attack into the Shield Master? Smite it. Get him for two damage. And then, I think I'm going to pump up the health of the North Shy Cleric. Job's done. There we go. So we another awesome turn. Take a boulder to the face, Shinobiru. Bam! <laughs> Just fiddle around here, man. Zeppelin! Alright, so things are going pretty well over here. Dragonling Mechanic ain't going to do jazz. Not too worried about a, a dragoning mechanic. Hmm. All right, let's have a look here, man. We right can away. just get rid of this dragon. Lady. Get rid of his uh, two four. Heal our blade master to draw another card. Oh, get in for one. Already attacked. And then. I think we play... Yeah, let's play our, our Ancient Brewmaster and bounce our Novice Engineer so we can start drawing some cards. Sweet! So even if he deals with our Cleric now, we still, ha we still have another way to draw cards over here, so that is sweet. Plus, we've just improved our board, board presence dramatically, man. Damn! 5-4, 4-4, four, 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 and a 1-3. Bam! Right, there is his own Northshire Cleric. Well, we know that that thing's got to die, right? That thing has got to die. Man, we got so many options here. It's absolutely absurd. Well, this thing isn't really going to do much much damage to us, I think. What we could do... I Oh, here's, here's a great play over here, guys. Another Check it out. Round. We're going to attack into the 2-7 with our Brewmaster. Then it's Holy Smite time. Oh, yeah. Bam! Gonna draw three cards for that holy smite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wait, I did it wrong. Dang it! I should have killed this cleric first. Yeah, that was my bad. That was my bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was a major noob up. What I should have done over there, guys, is smite his cleric and then holy novid. Or whatever. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I just drew him three. I just gave him three cards for free. Um, that was terrible. <laughs> Dang it! Oh, man. 
Anyway, I, th I think we're still in a pretty decent position over here because we managed to pick up the death card. So let's death his booty bay uh, bodyguard over there. Another round. Get in for a, a spicy amount of damage. He's on full life right now. And have we got anything that can kill him right now? Nothing that can kill his butthole, but we can just play another injured blade master. And heal it up. Draw a card. There we go, man. Ah, oh, a near perfect game. Except for the new bot, man. <laughs> that sucks so much. Oh, man, you guys must have faced palms so hard when the I did that. Any hoozle. I'm pretty happy with how this game went. I'm totally stoked with the new addition to the deck, man. Injured Blade Master for the win. And uh, that is the game, my friends. We're going to be able to uh, to death his 6-5. And then attack for 4. Good game, Shino Byron. Well played, my friend. Goodbye, Lord of the Arena. And hello, victory. Fire! Epic! That was awesome. Alright, well next game hopefully we'll be able to play a flawless game where I don't make an absolutely terrible noob mistake again. But we managed to level up to a South Sea deckhand, which is awesome. And we've leveled up to level 13, so sweet. And two wins away from another little pot of gold, man, that is epic. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Hearthstone, and uh, apologies again for that horrible noob out. And uh, thanks again to my opponent for the game. Had a lot of fun, man. I hope to see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed this one, you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you hit the subscribe button. Any other advice to improve my priest deck, guys, you hit me up in the comment section below. See you, Cyber Diggity Dogs, in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.